Next month, state lawmakers will meet at the Roundhouse to look at changing up New Mexico's laws. One House Democrat is hoping to expand the state's definition of a hate crime to cover victims targeted because of their economic status. Here's News 13's Rachel Knapp with the details. Rachel? Stephanie, New Mexico's current Hate Crimes Act covers acts based on age, color, religion, and a long list of other characteristics. Now one lawmaker wants to broaden it even further. I've met some uh, ladies that have been attacked uh, at parks. It's a hate crime, basically, because they're going after just a specific group. These women say at one time or another, they felt targeted because of their homelessness. I've been attacked here in Joy Junction, as West Side Shelter, and on the streets. In an effort to deter attacks on the homeless, Democratic Representative Patricia Royval Caballero of Albuquerque pre-filed a bill that would expand New Mexico's Hate Crimes Act to include the homeless and those who are economically disadvantaged. We never thought it would happen to us, but it does happen, you know. Albuquerque has seen its share of crimes against homeless people. Back in 2014, three teens bludgeoned two homeless men to death with cinder blocks, rocks, and poles while they slept in a vacant lot on West Central. I would ask for forgiveness, but I can't even forgive myself. The court threw the book at the teens, sentencing them each to decades behind bars. And a few months ago, a homeless man suffered a brain bleed and needed jaw surgery after two people who were captured on the chemo theater surveillance camera attacked him while he slept in front of a coffee shop. The two suspects were later arrested. The women we spoke with say they hope the proposed legislation will better protect them. I think a lot of people kind of put the homeless um, community on the back burner thinking like, oh, you know, uh, they don't des deserve the same respect as other people. We did reach out to Representative Roy Bell Caballero for more on what's behind the bill, but have not heard back. And of course, today is a holiday. Stephanie. Okay, thanks, Rachel. According to the most recent data from the National Coalition for the Homeless, 112 violent attacks happened against homeless people across the nation over a one-year period.